Okay, we are honored today. We had a historic day here at the Erie County Democratic Party and have in, had an executive committee meeting and made endorsements for a number of seats. And we're going to bring each of those candidates up uh, very briefly. But I will tell you that the energy in this room is palpable. And we are excited for 2018. And those of you watching live at home, we need you. We need you to be the blue wave so we can elect these great Democrats who put, put themselves out for our community. And so we're very, very excited to put forward the following candidates. And I'm going to call them up to say a few brief words uh, in no particular order. We have some state assembly seats this year that are up uh, for election where we have some wonderful candidates who want to serve this community and do the right thing and make some change in the leadership of the, of the uh, state assembly uh, here locally in the Republican leadership. So at this time, I'd like to bring up a, a wonderful candidate who's going to represent uh, Lockport, Newstead, Clarence, and Alden uh, in a big way, Joe DePasquale. <laughs> Hi everybody, thanks for coming. Joe DiPasquale, I'm running for the assembly seat in District 144. I'm engaged on the environmental issue. My mother died of ovarian cancer in 2015. I asked the question, what is going on? Why isn't this environment cleaned up? And that's what I plan to do in Albany. I'm also engaged in the public education issue. I was a teacher in the Buffalo Public Schools for three years, taught at Buffalo State College at UB, where I got my master's and doctorate. And I'm engaged and want your support. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. Next, we have a candidate running in the 147th assembly, assembly District who is now represented by someone who embarrasses this community in Dave DiPietro. We need a leader that understands what the community, where 30 towns are in this, in this community. We need somebody who was born and raised there like Luke Wachensky, someone who was a state champion football player, someone who understands the needs of farmers, of bit small business owners, and of all the 30 towns in that district. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Luke Wachensky. Thank you. My name is Luke Wachensky. I'm running for the New York State Assembly, District 147. I look forward to being a voice for small towns and working for our main streets, our communities, our families, and our natural resources. Thank you. Thanks, Luke. All right, Luke. Thank you, Luke. Um, we have two Republican state senators in western New York who are not doing their job either. Um, one of them is a guy named Mike Ranzenhofer, who has continually held up the LLC loophole, who has done nothing about reform and uh, sits on a pile of campaign cash that he has literally been able to uh, grow every year because of the corrupt rules that he has allowed to take place. So now we have a small business owner, someone who cares about the community, someone who wants to serve this community, a great Democrat, Joan Siemens. <laughs> and I'm running for Senate in the District of 61. First, I want to thank the Erie County Democratic Party for their support and their endorsement. For way too long, people in my district have been waiting, waiting for someone to represent them in Albany. Not only am I going to win this election, more important than that, I am going to go to Albany and represent every single person that lives in Western New York. So I thank you for your support, and I look forward to meeting many people on the campaign trail. Thank you. Our other uh, state senator, Chris Jacobs, was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, and we're going to take that spoon and we're going to send Karima Al Bahari to Albany. So, Karima, I'm going to stand on my tippy toes on this one. Hello, my name is Karima El Bahari. I'm a lifelong Western New Yorker. I grew up on Grand Island. I live in the city of Buffalo. I believe in public education. I believe in clean water. I'm running on a platform of preservation with development health care, affordable health care for all, um, <laughs> sorry, education, universal pre-K particularly, and also election reform. I believe Albany's had it a little too easy for us. So I am happy to be here. I'm a small business owner and I expect to represent all of you because I live with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Karima. Now Last but certainly not least, um, we have uh, completed our state convention last week where uh, a candidate was nominated at the convention, um, but we in Western New York put forward uh, a candidate who is a daughter of Buffalo uh, and a woman of Harlem, as I say. Um, somebody who uh, is extremely qualified for this position, who has spent her entire life serving this community, 
who comes from the very fabric of our Democratic Party base here in Erie County in western New York, someone that I could go on for literally hours uh, about her family, what they've done for not only Erie County, western New York, and Buffalo. And let's hear it for the Eve family for that. Western New York, we're joined by several chairs in Western New York as well. We believe in Eve. We are excited and we are proud to support somebody who's going to win this primary on September 13th. Somebody who has the credentials to do the job, who's going to stand up to Donald Trump and the Republicans in Washington, continue the work of the former disgraced Attorney General, the good things he was doing, she is going to continue. So I now am honored and proud to put forward our friend, the next Attorney General of the State of New York, Licia Eve. extraordinary chairman of the Erie County Democratic Party. Um, your support, uh, your unwavering commitment in the face of political expediency and adversity, I will never forget. Amen. Tell me, please. I will Amen. never forget. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now more than ever, now more than ever, in these perilous times, this state, our great state, needs an attorney general who will protect and defend and empower them, who will protect and defend our extraordinary natural resources, who will fight against the assaults on our individual rights and our New York and federal constitutional rights for the bad actors in Washington, in the White House, in Congress, and unfortunately the bad actors that we have right here in this state. As Attorney General, I will work tirelessly with extraordinary com courage and unwavering commitment to hold them accountable. As Jeremy said, I'm a proud daughter of Western New York, proud daughter of Western New York, product of the Buffalo Public Schools, Harvard Law School, work for a judge in our state's highest court, extraordinarily humble that I had the honor of serving as counsel to not just one United States Senator, but two, the Honorable Joseph R. Biden and the Honorable Hillary Rodham Clinton, and more recently as a Chief Economic Development Advisor to the governor of our great state. I am extraordinarily humbled. I am running as a proud daughter of two giants in public service, Arthur and Ar Arthur and Constance Eve. I am running as a proud daughter of Western New York, and I am running as the most experienced, most ready, most qualified person to be the next Attorney General of our state. saying the humility I feel and the honor I feel with officially kicking off my campaign in Buffalo in Erie County I would not have it any other way I thank all of my fellow Western New Yorkers all of the Democrats in this room and the thousands that you represent for your support your faith in me I will not let you down thank you so much I do want to point out that we have some wonderful candidates that th these candidates are joining on our ticket that we're joined by today. We have our outstanding family court justice, Lisa Block Rodwin, who's been endorsed already. We have the endorsed Democrat for Erie County uh, Court, Sue Maxwell Barnes. We have the next Erie County clerk, Angela Marinucci, with us. Nate McMurray to Congress and beat Chris Collins in the poll. We are also joined by our city court judge, Judge James A.W. McLeod is here. I don't know if Judge Hennigan is here either, but I do know that I, I can see him from up here. Our assembly member from the town of Tonawanda, Robin Schiminger, is here. We 
had an endorsement meeting by the rank and file committee members of the 142nd Assembly District this week, and they overwhelmingly, more than two to one, chose to endorse a real Democrat, somebody that has already proven his, his leadership skills in the county legislature. Patrick Burke is here as well. Also, we just hired a new executive director this week, Emily Marcus, who we are so excited and proud to work with. Her mom is going to be the next assembly member from the town of Amherst, Karen McMahon. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't miss, miss anybody, uh, but I, I will uh, take questions in a moment, but I will close by saying we cannot do this alone we need all of you who are at home we need all the volunteers we can get we, this doesn't this country needs change and it doesn't happen on social media and it doesn't happen by sitting on your hands and talking to people that uh, aren't voters we got to talk to the voters of this community explain how wonderful this ticket is and how how uh, they're going to make the change that we need in this community we are going to return governor cuomo back as our governor so he can continue the unprecedented resources that he has given given this community in Western New York. There has been no governor who has done more for Western New York than Andrew Cuomo. And Kathy Hochul has been there by his side every step of the way, and we're going to return her as our lieutenant governor, aren't we? Okay, now I'm, we're all excited to be here. It's a little warm, but I will now, uh, if there's any questions that the media has, because they've been waiting here for a while, let's... Uh, oh. We're also joined by the new majority leader of the Erie County Legislature, who we couldn't be more proud of, April Baskin. The president of the Stonewall Dems, Brian Ball, is here. We've got people from the Women's Cap Fund here. So there is a broad range in our community, and we are excited. So with that, are there any questions that the media may have? No question. Sounds good to me. Uh, thank you all. We appreciate your support. On to victory. Let's go.